Hello there. This is Ravi from Informatica Global Customer Support and I will be briefing on importing an XML source definition. The agenda would be to look at various steps involved during the XML source definition import, various changes that could be made once the XML source definition is created and getting aware of configurable advanced options that could affect the XML source definition import. Once logged on to repository in a Power Center Designer tool, you will have to select the Source Analyzer tool to be able to create an XML source definition. Once clicked upon Click on Sources, select the XML Definition Import option to get to a user interface where an XML, a DTD or an XSG file could be selected to create the XML definition. While an XSG or a DTD file captures the XML structure an XML document would only contain the data and might not contain the XML structure related details. Hence, selecting an XML document for creating an XML source definition might not necessarily capture the exact XML structure but would be based on the elements which are actually contained in the XML document. Let's go ahead and select an XSG for the purpose of this demo. If a, once a file is selected, you would get onto step one of the XML import visit. Once the visit comes up, it means that the selected document is a valid XML or an XSD document conforming to the existing XML standards. This step one would involve giving a name to the to be created XML definition. Giving the name, we can get on to the next step of selecting the way the XML views would be generated. Entity relationship option, for example, would generate an envelope view for each multiple occurring or complex type elements. You could as well select not to generate any XML views in case you would want to create them manually along with any relationships that the views might have. In case the XML definition already exists, you could select the XML definition synchronization option so that it would synchronize with the existing XML definition and pass on any changes that might have been gone into the latest XSG file. Let's select the Entity Relationships option and click on Finish to create the XML source definition. Once created, the definition could be double clicked upon or could be right clicked and selected the Edit XML Definition option to open up an XML editor. On the left hand side of the same you can see all the elements listed which have been defined in the XSG or the schema file. On the right hand side you could see the views that have been generated based on the XML structure. The generation XML view generation would be based on the option that has been selected during the XML source definition import. The XML views could be added, deleted or modified in this XML editor. Clicking on tools, options of the XML editor would take us to the advanced options window of XML that would change the way XML definition could be imported sub subsequently. Pivoting, for example, could be enabled in this 
uh, window that could turn the rows of data into columns of data. This would be applicable to the elements which are multiple occurring in nature but are not unbounded. Similarly, you could override the infinite length elements by placing a limit on the precision that it could occupy so that the session would not take huge amounts of memory for its execution. We have seen and heard various options and steps involved in an XML source definition import. Please do let us know your thoughts and suggestions at the mentioned locations. Goodbye.